Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Adidas Speed Tilt 750 Pro Fight Gloves. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Adidas Speed Tilt 750 Pro Fight Gloves. I got mine in the black and gold colorway, 10 ounce XL. It is a Pro Fight Glove, so it only comes in lace up. You can get these in eight or 10 ounces. The key difference with the XL model is that it has a slightly roomier hand compartment. Same weight, they're both 10 ounces, but it's a little bit roomier so it can accommodate uh, people with larger hands or longer fingers. You can get these in five different colorways, like the black and gold you see here. They also have these in red and gold, uh, blue and gold, blue and red, as well as white and gold. The glove is made of full, genuine leather construction with layered foam padding over the knuckle area, and these gloves are manufactured in Pakistan. Now, I did a review on the training versions of these gloves, the Speed Tilt 350s a while back, and there's some key differences between the training version and this version, aside from weight and colorways, the training version is also offered in Velcro, aside from lace-up. And the biggest difference is the training version is made from cactus leather, where the Pro Fight version you see here is just your traditional standard leather. Um, and I think the reasoning behind that, and, and don't quote me on this, but I think the reason they didn't go with cactus leather for their Fight Glove version is maybe they couldn't get approval um, from the sanctioning bodies that do pro fights for, or pro boxing fights. Uh, so if a pro fighter wanted to use these uh, during his fight and they were made from cactus leather, uh, they probably wouldn't be approved. So maybe that's the, the thought process behind why Adidas didn't go with that uh, for their fight versions compared to their training glove versions. But those are gonna be the two key differences, the, is the cactus leather and the fact that you can get Velcro um, in the training versions. Now, uh, design-wise, there's a couple of key features that make this glove unique. The first is going to be what Adidas calls is a tilt technology. And basically what it is, is to give you the best hand placement inside the glove. And you'll notice from this front view, this is probably the best way to kind of describe it. I guess you could really see it from the back view as well, but the front really illustrates what they're trying to achieve with this glove and exactly what it's called, the tilt, speed tilt, um, is that it has a slight angle to it. And you can see it even from the outside where it starts to kind of curve to the outside away from the thumb and you see the very peak of the glove is basically where your two front knuckles should be when your hand is on the inside of the glove. And in boxing, the optimal landing spot is gonna be your, your middle and your index finger knuckle. And when you're throwing your punch, your hand, your fist should be a little bit loose and right when you impact or land, you should clench your fist to make it really solid. A lot of old school boxing coaches also, you also when you turn over, they want that twisting motion so when you land, on your opponent, you can break their skin and cause a cut or an abrasion. It gives you a little bit of a competitive advantage if you're able to cut them and get them to start bleeding. Um, so that's the whole purpose behind that. And that's the whole design behind the speed tilt. It's to put your hand in the most optimal position to where you can land on those two front knuckles. And you can see just kind of that angle. And we'll discuss that here in a second on whether or not I feel that really works in terms of, you know, compared to other standard gloves that don't utilize that slight shift in angle. The other key feature with this glove is that it uses one piece of foam throughout the entire glove. So you'll notice that it's not segmented where you have a break between the wrist support and the upper portion of the glove. So you have all one piece of that layered foam that goes through the entire structure of the glove. Uh, the nice thing about that is that it gives you a much more I guess locked in and kind of like a cast-like feel and it balances the weight distribution throughout the glove, which is a really nice feature. Now, when you look at the glove, the leather on here has more of a satin finish to it. You have that three-stripe logo for the Adidas on the back that kind of goes horizontally. You also have the contrast between the black and gold leather that comes across. You have kind of like this boomerang stitching that comes back and around. It says Speed Tilt 750 at the very bottom. You'll notice that, again, it is all one piece of foam. You have that Speed Tilt design, that split thumb, uh, which is unique. You really don't see that in very, very many gloves where you have uh, one color, then one kind of in the middle, and then another. So you do have that stitching right there, uh, as well as the separation between the gold and the black on the back of the thumb. 
you have the standard Adidas logo on the finger compartment. You can see that the foam is getting a little bit of bumps right there on the finger compartment. On the palm side, you do have that gold leather. So far, it hasn't started to fade on me yet, but I definitely feel that's gonna be coming pretty soon. Any type of metallic gold typically flakes a lot quicker than a solid color. You do also have this nice smooth tricot liner on the inside that feels very comfortable. A couple of tags on here, it does say 10 ounce XL, made in Pakistan. And you also have what looks to be like an Adidas QR code on the inside as well. Uh, black piping as well as long flat black laces with plastic tips at the end, black piping around there, as well as ventilated holes above the grip bar as well as on the thumb. And the grip bar is a little bit on the smaller side. It would have been nice if this grip bar is a little bit larger, a little bit more uh, pronounced. Quality wise, these gloves are pretty solid. I feel like at the price point that these are sell, sell, uh, sold at, I feel like the leather could definitely be better in quality. The leather on here kind of reminds me of like um, something you would get from, from Tidal Boxing. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, like, you know, fighting sport quality leather, something in that range, a higher end Tidal Boxing glove. But, you know, definitely at the price point that these are sold at, I wouldn't, you know, consider this to be any top high end leather, pretty traditional Pakistan. Uh, leather that you find on many gloves out there. Um, I've also heard from people that have used these gloves for like uh, several months or even a year that you know the leather has really broken down on them and the stitching has kind of come apart. Um, and I've had these gloves for I'd say about a month and a half now and they've held up pretty well considering I had them in my rotation. But I definitely foresee the leather being uh, you know not as good quality as I, I would expect from a glove at this price point. Um, but overall, the stitching looks pretty good there. You can see a little bit of bubbling in the foam that I'm not a fan of. Uh, the grip bar could be bigger there. Um, the gl uh, gloves are definitely on point with weight. When I put them on the scale, they were both 10 ounces. So that's great to see that from a weight perspective, these are on point with weight. You know, the stitching is symmetrical and straight. So that is really nice. The inside liner is, is extremely comfortable as well. And overall, other than the leather quality, um, there's another th thing I guess you can kind of co comment on. This even goes for the training glove. You do have a lot of stitching. And to me, anytime you have a lot of stitching on gloves, that gives you more opportunity for the st stitching to kind of come apart and start to fray. Um, so that's kind of an area of concern, just the level of stitching, especially for somebody like me that sweats a lot when I train. I typically kind of wipe my face with the thumb and that stitching, the, the, the salt in your sweat will start to kind of eat away, not only at the leather, but the stitching will start to kind of, uh, to kind of weaken and loosen up over time. Uh, comfort wise, when you slide your hand to the glove, they are a very comfortable glove, probably the most comfortable Adidas gloves I've ever worn, just like their training gloves. Uh, the liner feels really good on these, the thumb is perfect. Position wise, uh, good amount of room in there, not overly big, not overly small, definitely not too shallow. So when I make a fist, you can see it doesn't do too much of a job of pulling down on the tip and it doesn't feel like my thumb jams at all, even when I do land with my punches. Uh, the glove is relatively broken in when you first get it. So it does have that nice softer feel to it uh, where you're able to open and close your hand. The width of the hand compartment is perfect as well, as well as the depth. You also have this nice, nice pronounced piece of neoprene padding. It's actually a little bit thicker than you typically see in other gloves. They can really, fold your fingers over and grab onto it to get a really nice, uh, nice tight grip and make that nice tight fist. And you can really tell that Adidas put an emphasis on both the hand position and just how your hand feels when they're on the inside of the glove. So I do like that feature. But overall, gloves are extremely comfortable, especially with hand wraps on. The wrist support feels really good as well. It feels nice and locked in. You'll notice that the glove has kind of a conical shape to it where this portion of the glove appears a little bit larger to accommodate your hand and then it kind of tapers in to really lock around the wrist. Sometimes you have gloves where the wrist section is almost the same size or width as the rest of the glove and then you get a lot of room down here on your forearm area to where you have a gap on both sides of your forearm and it feels kind of loose. And with these, they really grip onto your forearm really nicely, so I definitely like that as well. Now, protection and performance wise, We'll discuss that tilt technology right here. So essentially the whole thought process behind it is now your two front knuckles should be, should be the first things that land on your opponent's face or on your heavy bag when you're doing it. Um, you know, you could definitely feel that it positions your hand very nicely. Now compared to my other gloves, uh, some of the more comfortable gloves I've reviewed in the past, like the Phenom SG210s, the 202s, the Rival Guerreros, um, I know I'm forgetting a bunch, but 
Uh, I personally don't feel like there's a big difference in hand position um, or the way I land my punches. And I think that's just more with my own personal fundamentals of, of trying to perfect that over time. And I still have a lot of work to do in ensuring that I land properly when I land on the, on the bag wherever I'm training on. But you can definitely tell that the positioning is very nice. Uh, but I don't know to the level of better than other gloves, if that's, if that's the best way to explain it. Um, so in my opinion, it's a little gimmicky in the fact that the design, because you can actually see that I can essentially kind of like straighten my wrist out. And now, my now the glove is basically where a traditional glove would be, is if I just slightly cock my wrist over, now that whole tilt part is essentially gone. So in a way I feel it's gimmicky, but I do applaud Adidas for trying to put it to where your hand has better positioning and the, the way the punch lands should be right there where you want it to be. So I do like the fact that they tried. I do feel it's a little bit on the gimmicky side to be honest with you, because I feel like I do the same thing uh, with other gloves I've used in the past. Now, as far as the padding goes, it uses both open and closed cell foam that has a nice medium consistency to it. I'd say it's right there in the middle, a good balanced glove. So good, very good shock absorption. And you really feel like you land and make a nice crack. So aside from the comfort, the, the feeling and the feedback you get from this glove is very nice as well. Cost-wise, these gloves are 249, so we'll round up to $250 uh, for these gloves, which I definitely think are overpriced, especially because I think the training versions are, um, I think $175, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so these are a pretty big jump in price compared to the training gloves, which use cactus leather. Now, maybe the cactus leather is more inexpensive to produce, and that's why there's a, a difference in price, but I really don't see why these are such a huge jump in price compared to the training versions, um, especially because it uses a standard leather you find on some other Pakistan made gloves. Um, yes, they're comfortable. Yes, I love the padding. But to me, this is more of like a $150 uh, range dollar glove, just because again, there's some nice features on here, but to me, not enough to justify the price of 250 bucks. I mean, um, you know, there's a $100 pair of the Pro Max Combat Tiente gloves uh, that are fight gloves. I love those gloves. And um, to be honest with you, comfort wise, they're, they're neck and neck. Performance wise, they're kind of neck and neck. Those are horsehair. Uh, I personally prefer horsehair a little bit more for a fight glove. Um, but $250 is definitely a stretch and I think it's overpriced. If you can get these on a sale to where it bumps it down to like 150, then uh, I definitely th think that it would be worth it then. But at the price of 250, I think they're just a little bit too expensive. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. As usual, I'll put the link in the description box on where you can find the Adidas Speed Tilt 750 Pro Fight Gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.